In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn a low resolution image into a high resolution image using Adobe Photoshop. So here I have a Honda logo right here inside Adobe Photoshop, right? So let me zoom in so I can see what's going on. So as you can see, the edges of this image is quite pixelated. And this is what I'm going to turn it into. Something that's a bit more smooth. All right, so let's get straight into the tutorial. So here we have the logo, right? As again, again, it's low resolution, very pixelated. So first we want to go up to image and then we're going to go to image size. And as you can see, it's pretty re low resolution. The resolution is currently at 72. We're going to change that to 300. And for the width and the height, we're going to set that to 2000, right? And then hit okay. All right, so now we'll need to zoom out. So I'm holding alt and using my mouse wheel to zoom out. So already we can see some improvement, but we're going to take it a step further. So we're going to go up to image and then we're going to go to adjustments, then levels, and we're going to create some contrast between the whites in the image and the darker areas. So in this case, the reds. So we bring slide the left slider inward, inwards, the right slider inwards, and that creates more contrast so that the edges are more defined. And then we're going to hit OK. After doing that, we now want to go up to filter, then blur, then Gaussian blur. And we're going to make this somewhere around 20. Right? So it should look something like this. And then hit OK. Then we're going to apply an adjustment layer, which is a curves adjustment layer. And this is what will give us the sharpness, get our image to look sharp. So we're going to slide the slider inwards. So we're going to watch it. So of course, this will vary according to the image. So we just want to slide it left and right, just as I'm doing right now, until we get an image that looks pretty sharp. Just like this. This looks pretty good. And then we have a sharper image. So we could stop there. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to vectorize this image so that we can adjust it even further if we wish. Or you could adjust it further if you wish. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the topmost layer. In this case, it would be the curves layer. And I'm going to hold Control, Shift, Alt, and E. And that will flatten everything and create a new layer above everything. So it will flatten everything that's in this document and have it as a vectorized, not a vectorized, a rasterized flattened layer above everything right and then i'm going to go to the magic one tool select it so i make a select made a selection and then i'm going to right click and go to make work path leave the tolerance at one if it's not at one you set yours at one hit okay and then i'm going to go to the pen tool and then i'm going to hit shape and just like that, we've successfully created a vectorized image that is high resolution, a vector image. So the before and after. All right, so this is the before and after. So we have the vectorized image, which is a shape. So we can scale this at will without changing the resolution. And this is the original which is low resolution so as you can see pretty decent improvement all right so you can use that to change your low resolution images especially logos into high resolution images thank you for watching if you found value in this video please subscribe and until next time peace out